Welcome to Sergio's Structural Engineering Channel. Uh, today we are going to uh, to solve uh, a practical issue that uh, uh, we have found today in the office. No, um, uh, solving a certain uh, foundation for a steel structure in a petrochemical facility. The idea was to to identify of the of the aim of the exercise was to verify if with the eccentricity of the pedestal that is shown here, okay, shown here in this in this area, uh, the dimensions of the spread footing are uh, are valid uh, to transfer to soil uh, the the pressure under the the limits of a, a low level stress a soil stress. Um, okay, just a brief description of the the problem that we are going to solve. We are going to have uh, an spread footing with the eccentricity of the pedestal. Okay, the uh, the pedestal is located in one center line. Of course, in this traversal section is uh, located in the center line. Um, uh, there is an uh, eccentricity of zero point three uh, meters from one of the edges of the foundation. The global dimensions of the foundations are two meters uh, per two meters, and uh, the height is zero point five. Okay, and uh, as a values uh, necessary to be solved for the for the issue for the problem, uh, are the actual force uh, the compression actual force coming for the structure is is three hundred. Okay, the allowable soil capacity bearing capacity is two hundred and fifty kilopascals, and the density because the the, the spread footing is overburdened with the soil. Okay, the density of the soil uh, located over the spread footing is 18 kN uh, per cubic meter. Okay, so the first thing we are going to, to solve it is the action forces that are acting okay, over the foundation. All of them. Okay, so we have here in red, to give more importance, the actual load coming for the structure. Okay, we are going to have here the self weight of the foundation we are going to call we are going to call it sorry p s w okay we are going to have here also also the weight of the overboarding soil that is going to be called p soil okay so um the the the, the main idea is to identify where is located the resultant of forces from the center of gravity okay of the spread footing the distance of the resultant of forces uh, from the center of gravity is going to be called x and the resultant of forces is going to be the whole vertical loads applying uh, applying over the soil so we are going to have the 300 kilonewtons plus soil weight soil weight sorry plus uh, cell weight uh, spread footing soil let's identify first of all the values of uh, the, the values due to the weight of the foundation and due to the soil so let's go starting with the foundation we have the first of all the density we all know that is 25 kilonewton uh, per cubic, me uh, cubic meter per uh, by the volume so we have two times uh, two times uh, the size and the depth of the spread footing is 0 0.5 so using my my new hp because the old one is broken down unfortunately it is we have here 50 kilonewton. Okay. Do a weight do it to soil. The volume is going to be the same, but the density is going to change according to your technical report. This is a data that should be also reflected in the should be reflected on the on the geotechnical report. So we have once again once again two times two and the depth is different, a little bigger, 0.8. So if we divide it uh, 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 50, uh, multiply, divide it by 0, uh, 0.5 and multiply by 0 0.8, we have 80. So the way to do it to a soil, it is 18 times 4 
times 0 0.8. So we have here a total weight of 57.6 kilograms. Okay. Um, uh, in order to uh, evaluate what is the resultant applica applicable, we're going to take moments uh, from the center of gravity, this place, from the center of gravity of the spread footing. The resultant should or shall balance all the forces. There, I mean, there is balance in terms of, of bending moment. So, so the resultant R multiplied per the distance should be equal to uh, the, mom, uh, the actual forces 300, okay, by the distance from the center of gravity of the spread footing. Uh, we know that the half dimension of the, of the foundation is one meter, and the, and the load here, the load here, you know, this distance is applied to times minus 0 0.3. So, uh, distance from the center of gravity, it is um, the following value, okay? We have here 300 by 0 0.7 divided by the total forces acting over the soil. So we have 300 coming from the structure, the cell weight of the foundation, and plus and that's the weight of the overboarding soil. Let's operate these values. And we have like a 300 by 0 0.7, okay, 210. The eccentricity from the center of gravity of the spread footing is 0 0.51, okay, 51 meters. So, uh, as well as as long as we have the the dimension or the distance between the, the center of gravity of the spread footing, and also we have the load, we can evaluate which is the maximum soil pressure transmitted to the soil. For that, uh, for that commitment or for that activity, we have two possible options. Okay, we have a triangular relationship. Okay, and um, that triangular, this is the spread footing, a uh, transversal section. We are going to use, for example, this uh, beautiful orange color. We are going to have here a triangular distribution forces. Okay, and the value that we, are, we want to know is this one, which is the maximum uh, pressure transmitted to the soil. And the value that we are going to obtain should be compared with the soil bearing capacity or allowable soil bearing capacity provided by your technical report. Okay, um, so for sure we have that this triangular distribution. Okay, the center of gravity of this triangular distribution should be aligned with the resultant. Okay, of the total forces, because if it was in otherwise there will be no balance in terms of moment. So, so uh, the reaction of the soil should be placed at the same time, at the same place, yeah, the same location. The resultant of forces provided by the soil should be located aligned with the resultant of forces coming from the structure. Okay? If we have a, a triangular shape, this dimension, C, okay, uh, uh, should be C should be the half of the dimension of the spread footing less minus the eccentricity. So we have one meter minus 0 0.51. We are dealing with 0 0.49 meters. So uh, which are the resultant of the triangular, which are the resultant of the soil do it to a volume of a triangular shape, very easy. The resultant of the soil, it is in the surface of a triangular, uh, 0 0.5, the height, 
that is the maximum uh, soil pressure, okay, uh, multiply by three times C, sorry, three times Z, multiply by perpendicular dimension. So if we isolate it here, the value of sigma, we are going to have that two times, uh, two times resultant of forces. That is the same of the resultant no, from the coming from the structure. Okay, and divided by three, three times C by B. So let's make the calculation. Okay. Let's make the calculation with the calculator. So we have uh, 300 plus 50 plus 57.6. Okay, the total is for the 407 divided by 3 times 0 0.49. 49 and Multiply by 2 meters the width. Divided, we have here. Okay, so if we multiply uh, and divide the values of the equation that is represented there, we obtain a value of 277 kilopascals. Okay. So, uh, with that value of maximum pressure transmitted, okay, um, if we compare it with the soil bearing, allowable soil bearing capacity, we notice that the value is bigger, okay? So, uh, at, the first, at the first step, we think we can conclude, we can conclude that uh, the dimensions are not valid. It is true that sometimes in certain, uh, certain geotechnical reports, when we are dealing with this triangular distribution pressure uh, uh, set or, or, or form, uh, allowable, allowable in English, allowable could be multiplied by 1.25, okay, uh, in order to uh, try to reduce a little bit this, this triangular shape. Let's see the verification then because we have here, we have here 250 by 1.25. The value of this modify, modify bearing capacity is 212.5 kilopascals. So if this factor is uh, permitted or is indicated in the geotechnical report, um, uh, finally, we can conclude that uh, the dimensions, the spread footing, even though with eccentricity, a certain eccentricity of the load, are valid because of um, 277 kilopascals is less than 1.25 uh, soil, uh, allowable soil pressure, soil bearing capacity. Okay? So well, this is the, the end of the exercise. Um, I hope you uh, have been enjoyed and, and the content of the video uh, could be useful for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe and, and if you want to, uh, uh, to have more uh, exercises solved like this way, please don't hes do, do not hesitate to, to visit my, my channel. Okay? Uh, see you next time. Take care. Bye.